so I zoom back a little bit so just to make sure everything's all good it's not but that's okay I'm gonna fix it in a second and I also saved it so you can see up here the name of your file so I put mine right on my desktop just so it would be convenient um, if you want to edit anything you can just edit it I'm just gonna make mine a little bit more interesting here as I was looking at a sample that I was going off of and kind of didn't look anything like the sample so um, you can see here now I'm just trying to add some more texture here and I'm just trying to look at this if I can oh I can fix that just kind of give it a little bit of texture um, that uh, what I was trying to do was just go off my sample I'm just going to go to the top yep that looks good and I'll put that back to the bottom again. So mountains number two. If I can there. So we can lock that up. It's all good. And I can create a new layer. And this layer is going to be called city. And so in the city layer. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a, a quick rough outline of the city. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm just going to move my border up and then drop it down one. Yeah, now I can kind of keep track of where we're at. So we're in the city and I'm just going to again with the Bezier curve, but this time, um, oh, sorry, wrong layer, there we go on the editable air layer so I can click and click and click and click however to make the city more interesting uh, we don't want to do that because it would sort of make our city look well silly so let's just do that what we really want to do is we want to make it look uh, straight lines and so for the straight lines instead of um, doing any dragging, we just want to do clicks. But the other thing is, we want our, all our straight lines to be straight up and down. And so, in order to do that, what we can do is, if you hold down on the control key, okay, then one of the things you'll notice as you go around is that it's snapping to various angles. Okay, so if I let go of the control key, you'll see it's not snapping to any angles. All right, but if I hold down the control key, it's snapping. To angles and basically I want to snap it to the angle straight up or the angle straight out maybe in the odd circumstances I might want to um, do something else the other thing I'm going to add a little bit of perspective so I'm going to make the bigger buildings on this side and the smaller buildings on that side so I'm just going to hit escape there start over again and I'm going to start from this side just so it makes it a little bit easier to do holding down control and I'm just going to keep my finger on control and just go click click and I'm just sort of adding texture as we go and I put a bit of an angle on one of them maybe a old style church or something Come really close. So I'm not really too worried about details right now. Oh, got one funny angle there. That's all right. And so slowly, so this is my sort of downtown core. Sort of make it look like there's another building there. So, just trying to make it look like buildings are sort of receding into the distance. Now I should, if I was smart, start also making them smaller and not as wide. my 
other point. I'll go back to that in a Okay. And so we'll go back and finish it off. So what I can do here is I could add a lot of color to this. I don't really want to. If I wanted to add a lot of fill to it, I could choose something like that. But that sort of you know doesn't really show the effect that I'm looking for. I'm looking for more of a, a muted effect almost like the sun is setting and so I'm going to go with something like that and this color will be here and then I'm going to edit those points and I'm really happy with all that okay, so I'm just going to pull that one down a little bit this one down a little bit Let's see if I can balance These guys here I'm not really happy with them. Sure if I got more interesting. these points as we go. I'm sort of doing it well and truly zoomed out. I probably should have zoomed in a little bit more. Okay, so all of these points can of course be moved around afterwards. So uh, what, I, what you can also do is if you hold down control while you're editing the points then you'll get a perfect um, Degree of where you're going to. We'll close this one a little bit more. Okay, now this doesn't really add a lot of texture to it, um, so we want to add texture to this as well. And in order to do that, uh, we add some highlights. So again, with the Bezier curve tool. And what we can do is, um, so I've just clicked one time. I'm going to sort of follow along with this part here. And then go back up again. And instead of having um, a really obvious black line around it, I'm going to sort of stick with the white and then choose a slightly other color to add just a little bit of texture. And I'm going to go with, you know, the, I, I realize it's not quite white, it's slightly off-white, but I'm just going to continue drawing those kinds of shapes um, as I go around. And so I'm going to hit the control, and the texture. Now it's not remembering the colors that I've chosen. So in order for it to remember the colors that I've chosen, so I can stop with all this silliness, um, I can you know, try that, or there's other ways to do it, but we'll just keep going with what we're doing and keep adding different points. So I'm going to pause now, and I'll show you what I've got when I come back. 